how can we protect ourselves, you know, going through life, all sorts of negative, positive, different kinds of influences going around. London, how can we handle living in London? Well, in the temples, they taught us something very simple. So very often, you know, you may be, a, I don't know, six, eight months, hard to go out the gate. You're all opened up, you know, and you, you, suddenly you've got to go out and do, I don't know, some job or something. So what they taught us was unbelievably simple. I use it all the time, still now. They said, if you're around something that feels like, you know, you don't want to hoover it up or whatever, simply close your left hand. If you need a little bit more still, make sure your left foot is fully planted down on the ground. If you need a little bit more still, make sure your left sort of armpit kind of area is closed, the left elbow in against the body. So it's very subtle in the sense of no, it's not obvious. It's not sort of, you know, nothing, you know, too sort of dramatic, but it really works. It sounds like nothing, but somehow, I don't know how, don't know how it works, but it, it, it and stuff. What it, what it allows you to, to do is to be in the middle of whatever you need to be in the middle of, which may not be that positive sometimes, without too much of it getting caught inside and you having to deal with and process and all that kind of stuff. Dead simple, really seems to work. Um, and this is based around the, the health and the well-being aspects of uh, Zen practice. Um, there's a term in Japanese, bopu zen, which means kind of like secular zen or, or um, mundane zen. And uh, I was quite surprised, you know, when I went to live in Japan, live in the temple, practice, how quite a lot of Japanese people were coming to practice, not with any particular intentions for the, the, the enlightenment project or anything like that, they were looking to kind of create a foundation in their lives, as it were, as a basis for success, for something like a, a career in business or in the arts, uh, in politics, things like this. And um, it's seen that developing, um, particularly this part of the body, what they call in Japanese hara, develops a kind of a, a grounding and a presence, a kind of charisma, which then becomes a, a basis for kind of uh, a, a sort of ongoing success in life generally without any particular sort of spiritual um, agenda behind it. So the second book, um, the, the blue one you'll spot that's around too, has kind of got that sort of stuff in. It's also got a, uh, a sort of a teach yourself basis to it. It's a, it's a, it's a kind of a, um, also a kind of a hundred day course type, type of structure. Both of the books have got kind of websites underlying them with recordings and so on, so you have sort of guided, um, you know, practice periods and so on. Um, so the key bit, of course, is actually doing it. You know, it's fine to read about it, but as my teacher in Japan, Shinzo Marushi, says, a picture of a rice cake won't fill your belly. So it's actually doing it. So what we ask for in, in doing that is basically 25 minutes a day. That's it. But 25 minutes a day, every day, seven days a week. If you do that for 100 days, put all these elements together, then, you know, we've, we've seen, it's been fairly tried and tested now, you, your life will be different. You know, that it's pretty much guaranteed. So anyway, that's probably enough of my wittering. How about any questions? Mm -hmm. um, so the question, um, just to sort of fill in, any of you guys at the back, are you hearing, by the way, at least some of it? You are, brilliant. Okay, so um, the question was, um, so I, I mentioned right at the beginning, I was coming across experienced spiritual practitioners who were getting in a, in a state health-wise. How did that manifest? Well, the sorts of things I was seeing was ME, chronic fatigue type syndrome, people basically running out of juice, less able to function in life, to the point where, you know, one very significant person in my life um, practice-wise, is now only able to be in public about two weeks a year. Has to live kind of in a hermitage, away from people, resting. So that's the sort of thing I saw. Yeah. Is um, uh, we're here to, to, to find out who we really are and then help other people. And what that seems to come down to is, is really kindness. 
you know, we, we, we ultimately seem to learn to be kind to ourselves and kind to others. And um, to, within all of that, we, we move from um, a sort of a sense of me as a fixed, solid lump, like a billiard ball rolling across the table of life, um, to seeing that that is just completely not how things are, that we aren't a thing in a world of things. We're much more like a dance, in a, in a, in a universal dance, if you like.